Hey everyone, welcome back to Alf's Mustang Garage. Uh, today we're going to show you a very common repair that I see a lot of, and that is the fuel tank replacement. Um, I get a lot of these um, cars that have been sitting for too long, have built up just tons of varnish and debris inside the tanks. I see them leaking, I see them dented, um, all sorts of reasons why they would get replaced. Fairly easy. Um, almost anyone with with um, you know average mechanical skills is very capable of doing this job i'm going to go through my steps as far as what i do to do these tank replacements um, and we'll start that right now Okay, so we've gone through and, and uh, sanded down and prepped all your edges here. Um, you don't necessarily have to go down to bare metal, um, but you want to kind of, you know, clean it up as best as you can because we're gonna we're gonna put some sealant down. Um, we're also gonna put some uh, some pour 15 down on this as well. Um, I got some some rust pitting and, and, and things like that going on in certain areas so we're going to put some pour 15 down and um and then some sealer and, and then we're going to put in our new gas tank now we're going to be in, uh cleaning it um get as much the grease and wax well whatever may be left over uh on the surface here with this uh, stem solve um and then we're going to do pour 15 Okay, so now we're going to be <clears throat> applying some of this stuff. This is a good sealer and rust preventer. Um, that'll stop any kind of rust that may be starting to form, like what we see here. We got some some small amounts of it. It's not, you know, rust all the way through, but it's just got surface rust. So we're going to uh, use this, put this on there to prevent any further rusting. Okay, we got our uh, two, co two coats of uh, pour 15 down in our uh, fuel tank tray here, just to kind of make sure we don't have any rusting going on after the ins insulation. So now what we're going to do is uh, put down some sealer and get these at uh, National Parts Depot uh, from AMK Products. Um, it's just like a roll of sealer, um, kind of like a strip caulk, and we'll uh, lay that all down, and then, uh, then we'll be ready for a fuel tank. Okay, so we got our sealer all laid down nice. Um, it's pretty pretty easy stuff. It's just like a strip caulk, and you just kind of lay it down. No mess on your hands, nothing. That's fantastic. Um, so now we're going to lay a fuel tank in and uh, get her bolted down. All right, guys. So we're going to be installing our fuel sending unit here in our new tank. So um, we got a new uh, gasket. New level sender, and uh, we're gonna be able to install that. These are so much easier to do when your uh, tank is upside down.
Okay, so that's your fuel level sender installed on your new gas tank. Um, if you're putting a new gas tank in, do it before you put it in. It's much easier to do this when it's uh, when you can flip it upside down.